Welcome back to another episode of Monster Sanctuary. On the last episode, we beat somebody's sorry <laughs> Anyway, um... Yeah, let's, get, let's keep going. Um, the day is going well. Oops. I don't want to fight them. I know I'm probably going to need the EXP, but like... I don't want bird right now. Fly me over. Oh, okay. All right, we got a we got a crystal. Raspberry. What do raspberries do? Crit damage 10. Alright. It's a narrow walkway, you know. <laughs> Give it up, Alchemist. You've got nowhere left to run now. Oh, how humiliating. May I at least be addressed by my name? You are talking to the... To Val... Valahar, or... Valar. Va... Valar? Of the ancient order of the Alchemists. Hey, Tamerlog, this Alchemist ambushed me and challenged me to a Keeper duel. Probably hoping to steal my spectral familiar. I defeated him, of course. Now I've got him cornered here. Should we try to question him? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know what fool, what that fool Austin Austin's, or that traitor Raze's, told you. But you won't get anything out of me. Marduk is secretive, isn't he? I suppose he wouldn't share anything important with someone like you, anyway. Anyway, I should take this alchemist away to the prison cells in the stronghold dungeon. Which means it's up to you and Leonard to find the key of power. Good luck to you. Alright, she just takes him away. It's strange that the alchemist was here, wasn't it? Only us, Eric, Leonard, Julia knew that the door to the underworld was open. The alchemist must have found out somehow, which means they're on to us. I've got a bad feeling about this, Tamer Logged. We should be very careful. Yeah, I know. No kidding, huh? I kind of want to go over to that secret, though. Secrety secret. Somehow I always find myself on the right path. And I end up missing all the cool shit. Anybody else feel that? <laughs> Sometimes you're just going on the adventure and you're just like... Yeah, man, I'm coasting along and you just happen to fall into the right path, you don't even get to go into any alternative routes or anything, and you're just like saying, you're like, God, why can't I just find the good stuff? And then it locks it off. Once you've done the important junk, you're just like, no, oh, come on. Sucks, man, sucks. I want to cry. But anyway, yeah, uh, now we just gotta keep on going. Sounds like it'll be a good time for sure. Ah, oh, so close. You wouldn't do you. Oh, maybe I could do it from here. Oh, da, 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 da. No. I know I can make it. Screw you. I thought so. Oh! Is this an empty room? Weird. Oh, that opened. Okay, cool. Yeah, 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 yeah.
Aw, oh, what? Then I can't get out. Oh. Wait a minute. Dang, man. Oh. Um. Did I lock myself out of there? I still had shit to do in there. <laughs> ah. Well, uh, um, mm. God damn. Okay. I don't know how I'm able to evade them every single time, but you know what? I'm cool with it. Alright, sick. Uh, I guess that's a, that's a thing now. Sure, whatever, I don't care. Um... Oh no! Orange? Silver? Sure, fine, I'll lock myself away. Okay, that's not the solution to that. Phoenix Serum, what? I want to see the reward box. I got another Ashira. <laughs> Orange gives good mana. Revives target, heals target for huh. That's cool, we're getting better healing items. Yo. Bro. Oh, that son of a... Did he just pull a Sonic 3 and Knuckles on me? You think you're funny? You fucking punk. Uh, he's so lucky I'm down there. I'm gonna get out my frustration by burning the fuck out of everything. You deserve that. I could get a sweet crit off of that. Wow. What the hell? Okay. So, uh, someone's dying. That guy's definitely dying. Let's try this guy. Yup. What? <laughs> Got him. Or now he's dead. Oh yeah. 
More loot for us. More level, yeah. Okay. I'm good with this. <laughs> oh yeah, I need big rock. What does big rock do? Big rock. What the fuck? What does that do? I don't have a monster that can cling on to stuff. What the fuck? What, what, what do you expect me to do? Alright, well, I never hatched a rocky egg. So let's do a dark shifted rocky. Oh, he's really cute. Okay, then. Okay. Hmm. That jerk face, though, I can't believe him. I can just go back, can I? No, I obviously cannot. What am I doing here? Like, ah. Uh. How's the map all look? Hmm. I'm not sure where to go. Helmet five? Wow. I need to put that on Gobby. Like, without a dude? Yeah. Although, uh, I can't figure out which one, uh, which monster I'm supposed to have. I mean, hold on. 
No, I already got an Ashura. What am I supposed to do, man? What the? Ah, I'm so confused. Sustain ring. Uh oh. going on. I have to find the switch that's manipulated by that. I don't know where it is, though. That was fucking annoying. Ah! ah I don't want to fight you! I'm busy doing other important shit. <laughs> Get out of my face. Jesus. So this needs to come down so I can... Okay, okay. I understand the request being made. So that should... Put that down, yep. Okay, I'm slowly figuring it out. My brain is fucking frying like a GPU that's running cyberpunk. Meaning I'm fucking gone fumes right now thinking of what to do. <laughs> oh, okay. Huh. Oh shit. Really? Oh, f I'm gonna I'm gonna go right in there. Hell yeah. You son of a bitch. <laughs> you goddamn. <laughs> okay. I hate fighting these dudes. I don't want to. Well, when I get around to, you know, I'm, sh I'm sure I'll manage to go do something. But for now, I just, oh, looks like it's Leonard. Oh, he's just sulking around here. Oh, it's you. Didn't notice you there. I suppose I was lost in thought. 
You probably noticed that my most loyal companion, my spectral lion, is gone. I fought against one of the alchemists and it gave me a lot to digest. We're sorry for your loss, Leonard. The same thing happened to Will. But that's not everything. You see, I believe I recognize that alchemist. He wore a grinning mask and called himself Chimes. But that's not his real name. I believe his real name is Richard. My older brother who went missing a few years ago. What? That must have been quite a shock. During the fight, I wasn't sure of it yet. There was something deeply unsettling about him. I only real, But I only realized it after the fact. You see... Since he was older than me, Richard was always destined to have the spectral line. He hatched his first monster from my... From a very er, er... He hatched his first monster for a very early age. And he quickly became known as a very smart and talented monster keeper. He was considered a genius who would keep... Who could possibly rise to the rank of keeper master. However... The closest to him knew that there was a dark side to him as well. He was overambitious, always ready to sacrifice his own monsters if it meant he could capture a champion monster and advance his esteem. Our family feared that it was too risky to pass on the spectral familiar on to him. That would corrupt him even more. However, it didn't help him either when they chose me to be the spectral keeper instead. He ran off and nobody heard from him since. I always took pride in the fact that I was chosen over him to be the spectral keeper, but deep down I knew it was only thanks to happenstance. Losing to him confirmed it for me. So it seems like Richard joined the alchemist because they offered him that which was denied? <laughs> Just like how the alchemists want to regain that which they believe they deserved to have, a place in the old world. When they don't get what they want, they resort to trickery and underhanded schemes. Is that is that really the legacy sorry, is that really the legacy they want to leave in this world? Raze showed us showed us that they could be better than that. Anyway, we should be careful with Richard, or as he calls himself, Chimes. He has stolen two spectral familiars so far. That is true, more than anything. This has shown me how serious the situation is. Richard did not just steal my familiar for his own personal reasons. There must be more to it. When he defeated me, he said something about how their leader, Madu Marduk, would be so pleased with him. We gathered as much too, the entire sanctuary is tied to our power. So it's quite troubling that they have, that they are targeting us. That's why we have to do all in our power to stop them. Mind you, the secret I lost to my brother doesn't mean I'm giving up. I felt plenty of strong monsters to form a powerful team. I will get stronger and prove that I deserve to be a spectral keeper. Looks like you didn't lose your resolve. That's great, Leonard. For now, you may take the lead. I will stay here a while longer. Damn, brother. Oh, huggers. That's okay, that's okay. Um, Alright, now I have to do some underhanded bullshit um, with this.
think that is where we get all the stuff. Which is gonna be super cool. Can't wait. Wait, what? I don't know, what, what, what the fuck? I don't, I don't have a thing like that. Where am I supposed to get a thing like that? All right, what, whatever. That's right. Eat! Mussy load up! I'm using all my stuff. Get out of my way, get out of my way. I don't want to fight with you anymore. rise up we meet again keeper I don't know how but you've managed to prevent the monster sanctuary from shifting towards the darkness and now you're here you might very well be the most capable keeper in the sanctuary has to offer at the moment the sanctuary was only saved thanks to one monster sacrifice you underestimated how much a single person or a single monster can do. Regardless of your actions, the tides of history cannot be averted. The Order of the Alchemist is a force that has shaped the fate of the world for thousands of years. Those who think that our order can be reduced to a footnote in history are wholly mistaken. That's not what we're trying to do. The Order of Alchemists could very well make the Sanctuary its new home as long as they're not causing trouble. Razi's already understood that, and turned away from Marduk's teachings. The Chad traitor doesn't deserve to call himself an alchemist. He's practicing alchemy, because he cares about keeping alchemy alive. He's a true alchemist. As long as we are forced to stay here, we are nothing but prisoners. We are deprived of our freedom to go where we want to go. That's what the old world has done to us. You keepers should be the ones turning over to our cause, not the other way around. In almost 500 years of sanctuary history, monster keepers have never dared to dream of escaping from their self-made prison. And what's worse is that you force monsters as well as people like us to share in your pitiful delusion. Over the centuries, the sanctuary has amassed a formidable array of monsters as well as keepers who have learned to control them. The time has come to mobilize force that the monster sanctuary has become to take over the world. The monster sanctuary represents so much more than just that. You grew up to be a monster keeper and later decided to join the alchemist, correct? If you grew up in the sanctuary and yet you can't see for anything but a force to be used for conflict, we can't help you. If that is truly how you see the sanctuary, we have no choice but to stop you. Even if you did stop us, don't you think others would eventually come to the same conclusion as us? As I said, tides of history cannot be averted. We represent more than just the will of our leader, Marduk. We represent a change that will sweep the, uh, across the world. You seek the key of power, don't you? I already found it. But it's in this treasure chest behind us. That is not all I found. The stone plate next to me has runes written on it, which allow me to, which allow the one who deciphers them to summon a powerful monster. Unfortunately for you, I already managed to decipher those runes. Behold, great Fafnir, grant me fierce cunning and dark resolve to smite those who stand in my path. Oh shit, he a dragon. 
Oh my god! Alright. You want to fight? We can fight. I don't mind at all. But I'm going to punch you. And you're going to go, ah! That will happen. <laughs> you can't change the course of history, friend. <laughs> yeah, this is a really impactful, uh... There we go. Yeah! I'm gonna fuck over your dragon. Just watch. Just watch. Actually, you know what? Mmm. Mmm. Yes, sir. Oh, shit. Um. Don't do that, actually. Please, stop. Now I'm gonna get you with the toxic slam. Banana slamma! <laughs> get him! Oh fuck, he hits hard. Oh fuck, he hits hard. Oh shit, he hits hard. Um, um. Oh jeez, he hits hard. I'm gonna use you for item heal. Thank you for that. I appreciate. Boom! Ah! I know what he's doing. Alright, next turn. I'm fucking you up. I'm burning away all your buffs. Oh fuck, there goes Jimothy. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, um, 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 um. Revive Jimothy. We need somebody... I just have to protect him. I just have to protect him. Alright, good, good. Yes, alright. offense all right good shit I'm about to kill your dragon G ouchers make grouchers what the fuck fine then I'm gonna burn away all your shit bye bye Adios. Jimothy, the most powerful fucking person on the earth. Oh, I can summon him. <laughs> oh, that's so fucking good. Every level up in the club. Mm. Let's go. What do you think of that? Indeed, I managed to riggedy riggedy wreck you. Perhaps you may quell the tide of history for now. You may take the key of power and proceed to the abandoned tower. There you will face the combined power of the Order of Alchemists. The fate of our order shall be decided there. 
Is he getting nerd? Excellent. That's the key of power! There's no doubt about it. I can feel there's some powerful magic inside it. We've come a long way, haven't we? Now we'll be able to... Now we'll even be... <sighs> now we'll even open the door to the abandoned tower. It's located beyond the mystical workshop, which is above the stronghold dungeon. We should make sure that we are ready before we go there, though. Wait, what? Crystal shard to get out of here. All right, I think this is where we will end it. Um, Let's just see if there's any new things to buy. No, there's still there's still almonds. There's still uh Yeah, anyway. <clears throat> Thank you so much for joining me on another episode of the Monster Sanctuary. I'm mind logged and I'm logging off.